Lord and Savior, Giga 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 has uploaded a video and it's called a manga about being stepped on. You know me, and you know I'm all about that. So let's react to it there. Be sure to subscribe to Gigguk if you haven't already. Okay. Hear me out. I'm hearing Slavery you. Slavery is bad. But. But I'm constantly on a journey oh, to find no. the next great anime. <laughs> and nowadays, we are spoiled for choice. Recently, I just finished Vinland Saga Season 2, which okay. is a masterpiece that shook me to my core. A human story so powerful, it can not only give you a great experience, I haven't seen it can Vinland change Saga yet, but it doesn't, on life. I don't feel like it I'm going to like, like it. like these that reminds me why I love the medium so much. But on this never-ending journey, <laughs> some days I wake up and I remember, wait a minute, I'm a... Because what if I've told uh -huh. you that I've discovered a high intensity shonen action manga with amazing art about being a slave to an army of insane anime girls in military uniforms that can kick your ass and will find any way, shape, or form to sit in your face every other chapter? Now I know what you're gonna say. Giga, god damn it, what do you think I am? Some Where's weird the stepping part? Freak? I mean, what? Who can said you that? Please stop trying to get me into your weird hentai fetish shit. So, what's the name of the manga again? Point is, there are times I want to remind people that I'm always striving to find the next anime or manga masterpiece and prove to the world that I'm still a functional member of society. Then I remember that I play Honkai Star Rail. Hi, I'm Giga. <laughs> and just in case you needed a monthly reminder that I'm still a piece of garbage, here's a manga about being stepped on by hot anime girls. Hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> Before we get Alright, before you start raising your eyebrows at me, I just want to say, I did not go out looking for a manga like this. This manga right. just happened to find me. Right. Your Honor. See, I was just innocently browsing my local manga store when a manga cover caught my eye of a military-clad, smug mm, anime what? girl looking down at me, emanating the purest step-on-me energy man could ask for with a single massive word plastered behind her. Slave. And my brain went, huh. Why is she not blonde though? This oh. Matel say here no slave or chain soldier asks a simple philosophical question to all the guys in the world. Uh -huh. Would you sell your dignity to be stepped on by a group yes! of hot anime girls? Are you yes. kidding me? In the manga's fictional apocalyptic year of 2020, a dangerous dimension called Mato emerges all over Japan, bringing with them monsters that terrorize the world and cause various disasters. Fortunately, with these monsters have come a new tool humanity can Sad. use to combat them. Peaches. A mysterious resource that can give humans supernatural powers they can wield, but granting these abilities to women and only women, causing a male female power balance to be completely That's flipped on its head. Men are now at the lower end of the social hierarchy, and Andrew Tate has become Andrew Cake. Enter Yuki Wakada. Wow, that one caught me off guard, dog. Uh, <laughs> male who's one day just minding his own <laughs> business when he suddenly finds himself in a life or death situation in the mato realm facing off against an army of monsters thankfully humanity has created mm. a specialized combat squad of super powered peach girls called the anti-demon Corps, and the commander of the yo this reminds me of uh princess uh funny bunny right from uh the black clover movie press 69 right now on twitch and in the youtube comment section if you would let princess funny bunny step on your face Give me a second, guys. I need to do something completely unrelated right now. <laughs> the seventh unit sweeps in just in time to save the day. This is Kyoka okay. Uzen, who has the ability to make slaves, which I know sounds pretty bad, but... But? <laughs> so anyway, she offers him the opportunity <laughs> to submit to her, which allows him to activate his ultimate ability. Slavery. <laughs> Yo, that's my favorite him ability, super dude. powerful combat form that can decimate the monster army. This gives him the chance to be the hero he always wanted to be. But unfortunately, men can't technically join the anti-demon core. But it's okay because they found a little loophole. He joins the seventh unit and moves into their all-female residence to the dismay of all the girls that live there. And has to prove his worth by becoming their caretaker, being a stay-at-home dad, doing the housework, and cooking up a mean meal in the mm -hmm. kitchen. It's got that secret ingredient. Uh, What's that? Thank you. Come. Okay, I know that description makes it sound like it's some weird harem etchy shit, but hear me out. I'll hear you out. It's good weird harem etchy shit. <laughs> this is a manga written by the same guy who did. Oh. Oh no. But okay, regardless of your opinions of Akamiga Kill, and God knows I have my opinions, I think mm -hmm. there's one thing we can all come together to agree on. As death was bloody hot. <laughs> 
So imagine no, she wasn't blonde. Kill. Every girl is a different flavor of S death and replace all the edgy violence and character deaths with S tier horny. That's Mato Sehe no Slave. It's been a long time since I've enjoyed an edgy series this much, and yes, there is more that goes into a good edgy series than just slapping some sexy anime girls <laughs> in your face and calling it a day. Just because you appreciate anime titties doesn't mean you can't do it with a little bit of class. I may be a degenerate, but I'm a degenerate with standards. I'm not ah, one to watch a show with nothing but fan service and etchy scenes as a selling point. Maybe that would have worked when I was a dumbass 14 year old kid, but motherfucker, there's this thing called hentai. It's like etchy, but without the blue ball in it. It's <laughs> art. If I'm gonna watch a show, there needs to be another hook. Nice action, right. an interesting right. world, a compelling romance, plot. But another equally important thing is how you implement the fan service in your show. You can't just show me thick anime thighs and expect. No, that's sorry, I got distracted. You can't just show <laughs> yeah. me thick anime thighs and expect me to be impressed. And one thing I absolutely despise is when the fan service gets in the way of the action. Nothing quite kills an action scene faster than yeah, when you're fully true. invested in a fight. It's exciting. You're into it. Your heart is pounding. The next big punch is about to be thrown. Then the series goes, all right, pause for a second. Anime titties. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm back to the action. If you're gonna put a bit of fan service in your show, keep it separate or in the best case, work with it. Fan service should be the spice on your dish. And you know, mm -hmm. I'm a good boy from Thailand. I don't just like a little bit of spice in my food. I love a lot of spice. But that doesn't mean I just want to eat a plate full of Carolina Reapers, nor would I appreciate you squirting a bottle of chili sauce on my dish when that dish is a nice cool vanilla ice cream. But luckily, Mato Sehe no Slave knows exactly how and when to spice yeah, up name. his dish. The name See, of the, the manga makes me laugh. Is that after every battle, she needs to give a... <clears throat> to a slave that's proportional to the energy they just exerted while she activated her power with her completely losing control of her body and her body fully willing her actions until the reward has been completely played out. I still out. don't see the and stepping, say, but rewards, okay. Do my Southeast Asian heritage proud? Mamma mia, that's a spicy... What this means is that the degeneracy never gets in the way of the action. In fact, they work together to enhance one another because the fan service you get scales with the action that precedes it. There are some chapters that give you just a quick and casual brawl that rewards you with just a little tease, just a little tickling of the balls. But it's when you get the <laughs> epic, multi-chapter, arc-ending fights. There's the anticipation that as a reader, you know that once the battle is over, there is an equally epic, uh -huh. high-intensity, full-on degenerate, etchy scene from the gods waiting for you ladies and gentlemen i, I present to you pavlovian degeneracy i'm of the firm belief that now if you're gonna go down hold up hold up <laughs> that's stupid degeneracy i'm of the firm belief that if you're gonna go down the degenerate route just fully commit. You think I, a seasoned anime viewer, am impressed watching the millionth dense protagonist accidentally walk into the girl's changing room? Oh no, baka hentai! No! And thankfully, this series pulls no punches in either its action or its culture. According to the lore, I mean, each reward Yuki is given is based on his subconscious desires. And thankfully for the readers, our boy must be the average Genshin Impact player because he ain't just bricked up. He's the entire fucking wall. <laughs> just make -out sesh. As the series goes on, the rewards get more and more spicy like he's cycling through the entire okay, library of hentai tags. Not a fan of the main girl? No worries. The series introduces a literal army of dummy mummies, semen demons, waifus with weaponized thickness. And here, come here. Let me give you a little bit of a spoiler. Kyoka can lend her powers out to other girls. You know what that means. I have. Come. But this goes into the one thing Mato Seihei does that separates it from every other generic ecchi series. It has plot. I'm not gonna lie and say that fan service isn't one of the main selling points here, but that doesn't mean there's not more going for it as well. Uh -huh. For one, the action is actually pretty kick-ass. It goes beyond, I'm gonna defeat you with the power of friendship and titties. Each girl's unique ability brings more dimension to the action Bro, than just- Bro, um, that's um, never gonna be animated. You. It's never I'm, gonna I'm become an anime really though. Hard. All the fights have their own thoughts and tactics put into them based on the powers that are present on the playing field. There's a girl who literally just has Zod World or that she activates by doing a fucking Jojo pose. Another girl's Yo! an ability called Python, where she has to pre-program her body movements like a goddamn software engineer, there's a MILF! I can't remember what her powers are. And a similar level of thought has been put into the characters and the general world around them. With a concept like this, it would have been easy just to slap a bunch of cardboard cutout waifus everywhere and throw in some nonsensical wacky plots whose only job is to get from one etchy scene to the next. But each girl has their own backstory and motivation Damn. that drives the plot forward. And we actually see development with some of them more than just the amount of ways they can sit on the protagonist's face. We learn more about <laughs> the social structure and dynamics of the monsters and the anti-demon core that fight them. Interfamily drama, power scalings, power rank 
rankings, tournament arcs. I'm gonna be real. This story isn't gonna be winning awards anytime soon, but it does everything it needs to. It does just enough to tickle that part of your brain that wants to grab the popcorn and dumb out your typical shonen action show. When you talk to a lot of anime fans and the topic of guilty pleasures come up, you hear a lot of the same titles getting thrown around. High School of the Dead, High School DxD. I've not talked to a single person that have watched these shows fully and don't talk about them fondly. They know what their appeal is. They know the target audience they're aiming for. And if you're not into these types of shows, they're not going to be changing anyone's opinion. But if you do mm. fall in that target demographic, if yeah, you're fine nah. fully embracing the sleeping degenerate in you, then this is like eating McDonald's cooked by a three-star Michelin chef. Don't lie, these aren't guilty pleasures. These are pleasures you feel no guilt enjoying. They not only fully commit to giving you the <gasps> peak gourmet fan service you've been craving, but respect you enough to know that you still need more reasons to keep watching once you hit post not clarity. You've come. That is Mato Sehe no Slave. It knows what it is, and it devotes itself to being damn near the best product it can be for what it's trying to achieve. So if you want a manga that does one thing, and one thing really well, and that one thing is being stepped on by powerful, sexy, military-clad anime girls with the added bonus of a decent enough plots, characters, and actually pretty damn good action, then Mato Sehe no Slave is the manga for you. In conclusion, It should have been me, not him! Well, I'm not a real, like, manga fan. I don't really read manga. I watch anime. Well, I have some reading to do.